Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out Flea's brand new settings. If you guys haven't already seen his video, I'll leave a link in the top of the description for you guys to go and check it out. Now, this video is solely going to be based on his actual sensitivities rather than his binds. If you guys do want to see a video with his binds, then definitely drop a like. If we can get around 150 to 200 likes, then I'll definitely make another video on just his binds alone. Also, if you guys do enjoy this video, then be sure to comment down below who you guys want to see me do next. But of course, if you guys are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, without any further ado, my name is Cambo, and let's jump straight into Flea's settings. Alrighty, so first we're going to run some 1v1s on my settings. I'm going to show you guys my settings right now, my sensitivity. And then after a couple 1v1s, I'm going to show you guys Flea settings. And then we're going to try a couple 1v1s on them. This is going to be really interesting because, of course, Flea plays a lot higher sense than me, as you guys will see in just a second. Okay, so right off the bat, if you guys didn't know, I do play with the vibration on. I get looked at that really weirdly, but it's something I've always played with. And so I'm just really comfortable with it. Of course, build immediately for Builder Pro. Controller auto run, I do have turned off. But the auto sprint, I do have turned on. Now, my build mode sensitivity is 1.7 and my edit mode sensitivity is 2. 2.0 along with that my look horizontal and vertical are both 50 now this is an average sensitivity it's a little bit on the slower side though now of course i do play on linear i've played on linear since i think it was the second day when it first came out aim assist strength of course obviously 100 controller player you guys already know what it is now you guys have seen my settings let's jump into a couple 1v1s and then we're going to try out flea settings No. That was no. so sick. That, that's why I don't carry grapplers around. I always do it. Just, just me off. Oh! Okay, so now you guys know what it's like when I 1v1 on my settings. Now we're going to switch over to flea settings. I'm going to show you guys what they are. And then we're going to jump into some 1v1s and see how I go on them. All right, so I'm, I've got them up right here. He plays on a 2.2 build mode and a 2.2 edit. As you guys can see, that's up five or six units. So that's quite a fair bit for the build mode. And he also plays on a 55 and 60. So as you guys can see, it's not much, but that'll feel like an absolute world of difference. So this is going to be interesting to see if I can actually control it and manage to 1v1 with it. Alrighty, um, these are my first impressions. It's very fast. I do know it's like, you really don't need big movements to... um. Whoa, okay. You pull out your build mode and it's really quick. Yeah, the edit mode's really fast as well. Alright, let's jump into him. Whoa, this is fast as hell. <laughs> what? Okay. God, this is so fast. Oh my god. Did using flea settings double my edit speed? It's so hard to control. Holy <laughs> shit. I thought I was having a cone. <laughs> I'm doing fucking 360s. Oh my god, I can't do triple edits. Oh my god, no. Oh my... Bro. Oh, this is so much different. Bro, you haven't, you actually have no idea how, how much faster it is. Oh, it's so fast, bro. What? I don't know how Flea's controls this so well. Oh. Like, so hard to control. Oh my... Bro, I'm doing 360s. What is my life? I'm legit... I'm doing 180s! What is my life? Am I an underrated console player or what? <laughs> I'll be honest, the hardest thing that I'm finding is definitely trying to control the sensitivity because of how much of a difference it is between mine and Flea's. The really big difference between Flea sensitivity and mine is that mine's more based for a casual player, whereas Flea's is a lot more towards creative. The high sense really enables him to be able to do those really fast flicky movements when he needs to and make them look really flashy, for example, for a montage. That's probably the biggest thing I'm finding. It's finding it pretty hard to control. I can definitely see why Flea would use this sensitivity as it is really suited towards creative. All right, guys, so that's going to be all the 1v1s that I do on flea settings. The number one question probably on everyone's tongues right now is, did it double your edit speed? And I can say, no, it didn't. The reason why is because flea settings are tailored for him and they're what he finds comfortable. And what I find comfortable is definitely a lot slower and a lot more controlled for me. So that's definitely one thing I think you guys should really look into if you are trying to find the perfect sensitivity or copy someone's sensitivity. Definitely don't copy it because you see them good at the game or because they're popular or just because you like them. I think personally, if you're trying to improve at the game, you should definitely find your own sensitivity that you find comfortable. But all in all, did I think flea sensitivity was good? Yes, I thought it was actually quite enjoyable to play with. But like I said, but like I said, it definitely has its pros and cons. 
and same with my sensitivity it also definitely has its own perks and cons right hey boys so that is going to wrap it up for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed now like i said if you guys do want to see me do more of these and potentially someone like face Sway or another big player then definitely let me know because i had a lot of fun recording this and making this video but if you guys do have any names of course be sure to drop it in the comments if you guys are new around the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already be sure to drop a like in the video if you guys did enjoy the next video will be a map that i've worked on for around about two months so if you guys are keen for that then definitely be sure to turn on those notification bells if you guys have enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see you boys